as we mentioned earlier, in less than a week, uh, doors will open for the Kenneth Branagh Theatre Company's Romeo and Juliet. You two play, funnily enough, Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> as it would happen. Not in that order. Romeo and Juliet. Uh, how are rehearsals going? Good. I mean, we, we are moving into the theatre tomorrow to start tech. Mm -hmm. um, so we've had five weeks of intense, grueling... I just got a fear when you said we open in a week. I know, <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and there's yeah. been loads of different interpretations and adaptations. So what's your take on it, then? Is there still a balcony, at least? Yes, I think it's not are you a spoiler. Allowed to say it? That's not a spoiler, I don't think. <laughs> but are you doing it in the traditional language, or is it, you it know, set in modern day? It's the traditional. We've just cut out the boring bits <laughs> uh, and keep it... It's really exciting. And it's very... It's contemporary. It's very... It's like a thriller, almost. It's very passionate, very Italian. Um, OK, because you're not giving much away. I know. So I'm thinking, <laughs> Sorry. It's got to be a surprise when everyone comes. But I think people will really like it. Yeah, we've seen some of the pictures, haven't we? I, well, yeah. I mean, it looks I quite sultry. Would that be the word? Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh, that's a very sexy picture. Wait, They're I, wait. young teenagers that fall in love, so, you know. You know what teenager get up to? <laughs> Lily, because uh, so, that's quite sultry and sexy. So we're here in War and Peace, you used to, used to sing to uh, James Norton, Whitney Houston songs, when you were trying to get in the mood for the, <laughs> yeah. the sexy stuff. What, what, have you been, what have you been singing to Richard? Oh, what? Oh, I can't oh, no, 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 offended now. You've well, not sang anything I'll to me. Do, we'll do Whitney oh, in the thanks. theater. Six weeks in, not one song <laughs> yet. What do you like, Richard? I mean, you I choose. Oh, Put in anything. request. Oh, no, you did. You sang some Beyonce to me. <laughs> yeah, Beyonce's new album. <laughs> Beyonce, OK. And, you know, we've got to be really careful with spoilers on this show. Mm. You know, but I don't think it's that much of a spoiler to say that Romeo dies at the end. <gasps> um, oh, I know. Oh, sorry. Mm. Mm. Um, but is it more intense, Richard, dying on stage? Because, I mean, we've seen you die. Oh, that's a spoiler, that's a spoiler as, well. as well. In a different oh, show. Oh but, God. you know, on stage, is it, is it quite difficult not to overplay it? What's your approach it, with this, then? It is, because you always get to the... Because, you know, at the end of the play, maybe Romeo does that, maybe he doesn't. Um, and <laughs> and you always get to that point <laughs> and you think, you think, as an actor, you just want to get off because you think, oh, I'm dead now, so just, just hurry up and die then. People know you're going to die. Um, <laughs> don't and actually, milk it. Yeah, don't milk it. Don't kind of... <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. um, but but you, you just try and kind of do it justice to what it needs to be at that point. It's, really? it's not much... It's, it's really not sad. It's... it's sad. It's not fun dying every no. night. And it's the, no. you know, it's the peak, it's the climax of the whole piece. At least so I'm you... prepared for it now. <laughs> so I know to take tissues. But Lily, we heard you learnt your life for the, for, for, the, for the role in uh, in a car park in Atlanta. That's not really <laughs> method for Rolling Julia, unless it's this new version set in a car park in Atlanta. No, it's not. <laughs> although that would be really cool. Um, no, I was I was filming uh, Baby Driver, Edgar Wright's new film, and okay. um, I had endless night shoots in this cold, dark car park. So it was the perfect place to land Juliet. <laughs> exactly. And you're in Bastille Day, aren't you, Richard, with Idris Elba? Yes. One show favourite, Idris Elba. Oh, yeah, one show favourite, or your favourite. Yeah, well, okay. either way, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> and we were told that you were to learn to pickpocket yes. for the role. So are you actually any good at it? Well, I got good, or at least I, I thought I got quite good at it. Um, and then I and then I realised that everyone I was pickpocketing was was paid to make it look as if they, they'd not <laughs> <Yeah>. noticed. <laughs> so in my head, I think I'm great, but actually, I'm probably rubbish. Well, that is true. Or maybe they just enjoyed having his hands in their pockets. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. a bit weird. I could do that for uh, but you you must have had lots of fun with with Idris. Oh honestly. yeah, we had a great time, and we kind of trained for about six weeks before we even started. So we're kind of running about this empty warehouse. You know, I was running away from Idris most of the time while shooting some guns and you know it's kind of the the best uh, job a couple of boys had a good time yeah Fair. and Romeo and Juliet now completely different very very different just yeah. running away from Lily all the time <laughs> running, <laughs> running towards me oh, sorry running towards me <laughs> <laughs> well we, we can't wait well. to see it we really can't wait to see it 